Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to explain about the Francis Ella Turensis. Now let me see about the general characteristics of Francis Ella Turensis. First let me see about the gram classification of the bacteria. It's a gram negative bacteria that are non-motile, cocobacillus that are non-sporing. The mode of respiration is the aerobic mode of respiration and require cysteine for their growth. There are two biovars of tularemia is present that is type A and type B. Type A is a highly virulent mostly located in the US and type B is a milder located in the northern hemisphere. Then we will discuss about the disease cause of Francisella tularensis. The tularemia is a bacterial disease that can infect animals and people. In Northern America, the disease is found in wild animals which include rodents, rabbits, muskrats and beavers. Humans can become infected by tick and deer fly bites through skin contact with infected animals, drinking contaminated water and inhaling contaminated aerosols or agriculture and landscaping dust. These are all way infected by the humans. Pathogenesis of Francisella tularensis The infection which is a typical zoonotic disease is mainly spread by the insects or ticks among logomorphs and rodents. It is transmitted to man through handling of infected animals example rabbits or ash ticks, mosquito or fly bugs, inhalation of contaminated dust, injection of contaminated water or meat. Laboratory workers are at higher risk while handling infected laboratory animals or cultures of the organisms. Man-to-man -man transmission of infector apparently does not occur. This disease is not transmitted to the man-to-man. -man. The transmission route of bacterial disease is bite of blood-sucking insects such as tick and deer fly, in contact with infected animals, injection of contaminated water, inhalation of contaminated aerosols or agriculture and landscaping dust, laboratory exposure. In the cases, of anticipated events, laboratory workers may get exposed and occur infection with the Francisella tularensis while subculturing positive broth blood cultures, performing gram staining or examining agar plates. This is the transmission route of the bacterial disease. Now let me see about the virulence factor of the bacterial disease. Once Francisella tularensis is engulfed by the immune cells that are macro patches that are routinely kill bacteria, it replicates and evades part of the immune system using an array of Virulence but are capsule antiphagocytic in nature. The outer membrane LPS layers helps to what innate immune response as it savages recognition of by all like receptor that is TLR. Type 4 pile adherence as it prospects prevents diffusion of pagosomes with the lysosome. Citrospores acquisition of iron. These all are the virulence factor of the bacteria. Next, we will see about the signs and symptoms of the bacterial disease. Symptoms of tularemia is vary depending on how the individual was infected resulting in the range of illness from mild to life threatening. All forms of the disease listed below. The first disease was ulcer glandular, most common form of the disease. It occurs after a tick or deer fly bite or after handling of an infected animals. The signs and symptoms of ulcer glandular disease. Skin ulcer appears where the bacteria entered the body. Swelling of regional lymph glands usually in the armpit or groin usually present with formation of the ulcer. Next, the common form of the disease is glandular. It generally occurs through the bite of an infected tick or deer fly or from handling the sick or dead animals. The signs and symptoms of the glandular is similar symptoms to ulceroglandular but without an ulcer. Next form of disease is oculoglandular. It occurs when the bacteria enter through the eye. This can occur when a person is butchering an infected animals and then touches their eyes. The signs and symptoms of the oculoglandular disease is irritation and inflammation of the eye and swelling of lymph glands in front of the hair. These are all of the signs and symptoms of arteriolar Next form of disease is oropharyngeal. The disease is, comes from eating or drinking contaminated food and water. The signs and symptoms of the oropharyngeal is may include sore throat, mouth ulcers, tonsillitis, and swelling of lymph glands in the neck, parangitis or the tons. Next form of disease is pneumonic disease. The disease comes from breathing dust or aerosols containing the organisms. It can also occur when the other forms of tularemia, examples ulceroglandular, are left untreated, allowing the bacteria to spread through the bloodstreams to the lungs. The signs and symptoms of the pneumonic is cough, 
chest pain and difficulty to breathing next form of disease is typhoidal it also comes from the eating or drinking contaminated food and water the signs and symptoms of typhoidal is characterized by any combination of the general symptoms without the localizing symptoms of the other syndromes next we will discuss about the laboratory diagnosis of francisella tularensis blood test and cultures can confirm the diagnosis clinical specimens include swabs scraping of skin lesions lymph node aspirates or biopsies parenchymal tumor specimens or the gastric aspirates these are the specimens used to diagnose francisella tularensis nucleic acids can be detected through the polymerase chain reaction pcr or a sequence based analysis the culture medium of francisella tularensis the isolation is very difficult as francisella tularensis is highly fastidious it needs special media such as bcg agar blood cysteine glucose agar chab agar cysteine art agar supplemented with 9 percentage heated ship blood francisella tularensis in cysteine enriched chocolate agar the prevention method of tularemia is using insect repellent wearing gloves when handling sick or dead animals avoiding moving over dead animals the treatment of the francisella tularensis is streptomycin gentamicin deoxycycline and ciprofloxacin are used to treat tularemia the treatment usually lasts 10 to 21 days depending on the stage of illness and the medication is used thank you thank you for your kindly watching thank you